One of the features the PT900 portable ultrasonic flow meter is that it communicates using Bluetooth to Android devices, just like this tablet. The PT900 is GE's latest technology in portable ultrasonic transitive flow meters. And in comparison to the good old PT878, well, it's faster, smarter, and it still sounds like a cricket, so you know when it's working. And for you advanced users, it has more diagnostics, special adjustments, and a larger data logger. However, this video is just to cover the basic, I mean the basic really, really quick starts so you can get a flow reading right away. So, let's go. Okay, take your PT900 transmitter and connect the signal cables. Next, turn on the flow meter. And then it's time to park it. You need to hang it on a pipe or you can put it on the floor, just any place out of foot traffic or out of unprotected environment. The PT900 transmitter is battery powered, so you're good to go. But if you have a long flow survey or you forgot to charge it last night, it has a line cord to power it up and trickle charge it. Next up, it's time to install the mounting clamp. Now make sure you have the required straight run of pipe, which is 10 pipe diameters after an elbow and 5 diameters before the next obstruction. So if you don't have enough straight run of pipe, try and move to another location. Now if this is not practical, then you need to move downstream about two-thirds of that available footprint and park your transducer sensors there. If it's not too turbulent, you may get a reading. It may not be your most optimum reading, but if it's a late Friday afternoon, any reading will do. Here is a typical Android tablet which we will use to communicate with the PT900 transmitter. And of course, it's all about that app. This app needs to be downloaded to your Android wireless device that needs to be paired with your meter. Now, if you've purchased or rent a PT900 from Instruments Direct, the tablet and the meter will come already programmed and ready to use. If not, here are the instructions. Since this is a really quick start, hit the pause button if you need to read it. So now it's time to hit that app. Next up, you need to select the flow meter that you need to communicate with. Then you hit the next button. This screen will appear and now we will need to program the flow meter for your particular application. You're going to program channel 1 for a single channel application and now you need to select the pipe, the fluid, the transducer and then come up with the placement. So today we have a PVC pipe. If you have another pipe material, hit the drop down menu and then you can select it. So we're going to go back and hit PVC. We're using ANSI standard and of course today our application is at 4 inch PVC pipe schedule 40. Once we put that in, it'll calculate all the other measurements. Now we will select the fluid application. In this case, it's water. You're probably going to use water most of the time for most of your applications. The temperature is fixed. We're going to use an ambient temperature and all the other information will be dropped down from the water preferences there. So no special adjustments are necessary for most applications. The transducer, for pipe sizes 2 to 24 inches, you're going to use a 1 megahertz transducer. Should you be using other transducers or transducers from an old PT878, just hit the drop down menu and select the appropriate transducer for your application. Again, we're going to use ambient temperature for this particular application. And now for the placement. In this case, we're going to use uh, two traverses, which is typical for pipe sizes 2 to 24 inches. And it will calculate the spacing, in this case of 3.92 inches. And note where the spacing differential positions are indicated on the transducer. Now we go back to the mounting clamp and we install the spacing based upon the information provided. Uh, then we'll take our transducers 
apply our acoustic couplet uh, and insert them into the mounting track. Uh, if not already done so, attach the signal cables to the transducer and back to the PT900 transmitter. Now we can go and measure the flow. So now we can set up the measurements. Uh, in this case there we've selected uh, uh, volumetric flow, which is your GPM, uh, the signal noise ratio, the sound speed, and the velocity. And then what else we need to do is hit the OK button. So the column on the left hand side here will be all the information for channel 1. And we've not programmed it, but this would be the information for channel 2. And you just scroll this back and forth to get that information. We're in the lab right now, so we're not getting an actual flow reading. But should we be hooked up properly there, we want to expand the GPM flow reading because that's basically what you're going to read most of the time. We've got flow. If you don't have flow, go back and check your spacing and the pipe details you program the flow meter with. Thank you for watching our program. For more information on today's subject, check out our show notes and links listed below. And if you like what you see, subscribe to our channel. As always, we would appreciate any suggestions of technology that we should include on our tech review program. This has been Brent Baird from Instruments Direct. See you next time.